we're looking at applying the model, uh, some practice with CVPM and CAPM, and looking at the first page now where we determine which model uh, describes each one. So in the first scenario, a uh, truck starts from rest and then reaches a speed of 8.5 meters per second in 20 seconds. The fact that the velocity, that the speed changed means the velocity changed for sure because um, speed uh, of velocity is speed and direction. So if the speed changes, the velocity changes for sure. Uh, so that first one, um, because the speed is changing, must be CAPM. In the second one, the dune buggy travels for 20 seconds at a speed of 8.5 meters per second. It sounds like that speed doesn't change. And if the direction also doesn't change, if it's just driving in a straight line, we're definitely CVPM there, constant velocity motion. In the third one, a uh, driver sees a deer and brakes. The car slows to a stop. So again, we're changing the speed, so we're definitely changing the velocity, going from 8.5 meters per second to zero uh, as it brakes. And so that's going to put us in the CAPM 